Aloha everyone, my name is Dane DuPont and this is May 5th of the 2018 Kilauea eruption. We start out by looking at a map of the eruptive vents that have developed thus far. You can see six vents scattered across Lower Leilani Estates. And then, before dawn, Fisher 7 emerges on Leilani Avenue and Makame Streets. And it's the first fissure to start putting down a significant lava flow. This footage here is from Mick Calber, who's flying with Bruce Omari and Paradise Helicopters. And they're going to be instrumental in helping getting people the information that they need. They do regular overflights and share their footage in a very timely fashion, which is hugely important during this ongoing, evolving situation. So by this point on May 5th, the authorities have already restricted access into the subdivision. And by doing so, it makes it exceedingly difficult for residents to evacuate belongings that they've left behind. Perhaps they left in a hurry and were planning to come back a day or two later. Fisher 7 is putting down a much more fluid flow than the two previous days. This is a rather thick ah uh -uh flow moving down the street. Ah uh -uh is characterized by the more blocky and rubbly texture, also is associated with high flow volumes. At this point, earthquakes continue. Aftershocks from the magnitude 6.9 the day prior, as well as earthquakes from magma still intruding into the area. This is another shot from Travis Sanders. He was kind of a guerrilla journalist throughout this whole event, trying to get into places maybe you weren't technically allowed to be, but also providing the footage for the public free of charge. This was one of the videos that he shot that morning of May 5th. This drone shot shows that the lava flows had moved to the northeast and to the south. The house with the green roof and about the center of the screen is where Travis was. By mid-afternoon, the eruption of Fisher 7 had ceased. Looking at this thermal map provided by USGS, you can see how the lava flowed away from Fisher 7. But also we see something curious behind Fisher 7. A new fissure. The fissures are being labeled in chronological order. So this new fissure is inevitably gonna be Fissure 8. But what we don't know yet, and maybe by morning some will come to realize, is Fissure 8's different. It's a lot bigger, it's a lot faster moving, it's a lot hotter, and it's going to be one of the first real big flows in Leilani Estates. Now, according to USGS, who took this video, the fountain of Fisher 8 reached about 330 feet high that night, and Fisher 8 would stay on for most of the night. By next morning, a good section of Luana Street in Leilani Estates has been inundated with lava. And that'll do it for May 5th. The count is now at eight fissures, and we're going into the night with fissure eight still active. <laughs>